Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Azerum. And let's see, I didn't actually sleep yet. I just kind of paused the game. So let's resume it and go ahead and sleep here for... I'm not sure what time it is. Let's see, it says 2030. Let's sleep for six hours and see if that's enough to get us fully rested. So we'll probably have to grab a bite to eat. Uh, well, we need a little bit more. Let's see if we can steal another hour's worth of sleep and charge up our little power indicator. That's pretty good. Now we need to deal with food. Let's take a look at in our inventory, see what we can chow down here. We've got this yogurt, which fills the stomach 15% and restores hydration. Let's do that. And we'll escape out of here and see how we're doing. Boy, that didn't do a lot, did it? All right, how about uh, canned tuna? It's a little better. And then we've got stuffed vine leaves. Wafers. Let's do the... Which one's heavier, you think? 40 and 25. Let's try and eat the... Uh, here, we need this, I think. All right, that helps. And we got the water, I guess. We'll wait on the water, right? Last time I drank it, the soda in it filled us up all the way. So we may have actually wasted a little bit. We've got a flashlight here. I believe that's what this guy is. Now, is that the F key? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, well, that's good. That's going to help us out right now, probably. Let's check out the lovely accommodation here. A bullet there. Let's grab that. That may come in handy. Can't flip the seat down. Can't grab the toilet paper. Uh, I can grab the washcloth down there on the floor. Could come in handy. And then let's see. Is there any kind of medicine cabinet in here? Doesn't look like it. I don't see anything else. There's a light. All right, that may be it for here. Let's actually use our little flashlight here and open the door, hop out of the way. Don't go in there right now. All right, let's take a look. Just, we'll use our light. I don't know if this has, it's got a battery or not. I think we did these. And this is just for hoarding, I think, if we want to stockpile some stuff at this location. We don't need to do that yet, I don't believe. I don't know where we're actually headed. A teapot. We've got a teapot. I think... Let's see. Our thirst. You know what we can do? I think there's a way to actually melt snow. Let's see if there's a way to grab snow. Hmm. I thought there was a way to do it. So, but I'm not sure. Hook. Melt snow. Bowl. Start cooking. All right, so we don't actually have to harvest the snow. Let's just uh, hang out here for a second. And while we've got a nice stove here, see if we can't uh, get ourselves some water. While that's heating up, let's look in the inventory and see if the tea has any effects. Okay, it's one of the tea ingredients, meal ingredients. Okay, used to make tea. I guess we could try. Cook tea. Turkish tea and water. Let's try it. We'll just see what we get. Ooh, six minutes left to heat up that water. Or the heat up the uh, snow, I should say. 13 minutes on the uh, teapot. Let's run next door while that's doing it and see if we missed anything. even check the outside a little bit let's just do the rounds just to be extra thorough we gotta wait for that tea to cook we'll see if that gives us some kind of boost i think we covered it pretty well in here yeah i'm not seeing anything yeah we did pretty pretty good oh oh 
Take it back. There's a bullet. Let me just save our lives. Oh, is there a lump of coal back there too? Look at that. Trying to... All right, let's just do this the easy way. Shut that door and get to it. That may come in handy as well. So, oh, is there another one? Boy, I thought we had it covered. I was wrong. Any other things? You guys probably see like 12 items I'm looking past. There's another one. Tricky. Very tricky. All right. Let's go see if our tea is ready. We'll leave this open. Sounds like it's ready. All right. So let me grab those things. Let's uh, look at our inventory. Hey, there we go. Tea. Okay, restores hydration and it actually fills the stomach. Let's uh, let's go ahead and drink that and then head out of here. I don't think there's anything else we can wear. Oh, craft. Let's see. Is there anything we can craft? Uh, we don't have any animal products, so that's these items on the right probably aren't any good. Um, shotgun shell, plastic, metal, and sulfur. We don't have sulfur. Bandage, we do have. Why don't we craft one of those? Sulfur, okay. Sulfur, we can see, has some uses. Branches, we'll have to pick up. We don't need to craft a hatchet. We've got one now. We've got a knife. Bowl, we're good. Binoculars, we're good. Flashlight, we're good. Torch, maybe? I don't know. Does that, uh... We have branches? No. So we'll look for those. Shotgun shell sewing kit. Sewing kit, scrap plastics, scrap metal. Okay, looks like we can craft one of those. I think the sewing kits come into play once we start wanting to make these things here on the right. All right, let's get out of here. Time's a waste and... Boy, that tea didn't really quench all of our thirst, did it? All right, see you later. Let's look at the map. Do we have a place to go? Uh, oh man. Yeah, we do. It's pretty far away. Let's see. We should get familiar with our rifle too. Let's hop back in here before we, uh, before we head out. I hate to waste the daylight, but we need to, uh, need to make sure we know what we're doing with the rifle. Let's, uh, Okay, repair, draw, repair. The cleaning kit is required. Can I use this? Okay, powerful shotgun. Who's for hunters who pursue large animals. I'll just try and drop this. Not sure how to use it. That's the right click. Repair, drop, and cancel. All right, I don't see like a hot bar. Let's go ahead and check the menu for controls. Okay, movement, interact with objects, camera, inventory, flashlight. Drag item is left mouse button. Weapon controls are, and then right mouse button left. That's pretty common. Let's see if we do the R, what happens. I'm hitting R. I'm getting nothing. Last thing I wanted to try was dragging the... Okay. Let's see if we... Can we drag this anywhere? Sure doesn't look like it. So maybe we need to repair it before we can use it. That's going to be my guess. Alright, let's uh, head out. I think that's all we can do here. Hopefully we're not missing something. I just don't want to burn through all the daylight. Got kind of a long ways to go here. All right, we got to keep our eyes peeled. We're still operating as if we have no defenses. So again, I'm going to try and keep our stamina bar with at least a half a bit of stuff. Let's see if I right click this. Oh, there we go. That hatchet does something. Okay, we got two wood. Check the map, make sure I'm heading generally the right direction. 
Okay, so we can get wood from those fallen logs. I don't think we can cut down a tree. There's uh, corn. This was just added to the game, I believe, in this release. I just saw a release note on that on Steam. So I think our biggest threat here is going to be the wolves. And hopefully we will get the uh, audible warning on those. But I'm not sure if there's a way to get through without having to shoot your way out. <laughs> get through the whole game. Let's take a look. Yeah, we got a ways to walk here. We need to find some warmth on the way. We have uh, some socks at least. Yeah, as I record this, there's been a few kind of winter-themed survival games that have just come out or are in early access or have demos. And of the three that I looked at, this one looked like it was the most or the furthest along in terms of playability. In fact, as I play this, it's a fully released game. They are still making updates. Like I said, they just uh, a recent update introduced that corn that we just plucked. Out of the ground. And I think there's uh, potatoes too. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for those. Okay, let's take a look at the map. See how far I've strayed. Not too bad. Yeah, the environment's pretty neat. There is a lot of walking. Right now I'm happy enough not to see a lot of predators because we... Although we have a shotgun, I don't think it is repaired. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing, but I can't find a way to... Uh, arm that thing or even reload it. I'll just hit R again for the heck of it. Nope, nothing. Water looks good. We're not dehydrating as fast as I thought we would. But our temperature's not looking great. But we've got a lot of trees here. This is going to be a little tricky to spot predators. Take a look at the map. I don't know that we'll be able to outrun anything or outmaneuver anything around these trees. But we'll just do the best we can. Now the story mentioned, uh, or the last person we talked to I think mentioned that smoke. So that's the general direction we're heading. Keep our eyes peeled for any more of those little corn stalks. Or I think there are potato plants as well. Now, I'm a little bit colorblind, so they may be a little bit harder for me to pick out than uh, than you can. <laughs> so I may walk right over something that is useful. We'll see. Well, I said this is bear country too, right? see anything but trees. I apologize if you get if I walk by something interesting. I've watched a lot of YouTubers <laughs> play a game and walk by something just completely obvious, like center of the screen obvious. But uh, when you're in the game playing, your focus might be somewhere else. So playing it is one thing and watching it is another. But yeah, I haven't seen anything, any points of interest. Okay, we got a pretty steep hill here. We can at least see quite a ways. Now, I don't know where the uh, 
how soon or how close the uh, predators would pop in. But this view right here looks kind of reassuring. Let's go ahead and burn through some of that stamina while we got it and save ourselves some time. I did see some people complain about how much walking there is, so I can kind of understand that. Especially in like a replay scenario, you might not want to be doing all this walking, you know, two, three, four times or something. But the first time playing the game, I don't have any problem with it. Kind of taking in the environment. That looks pretty cool. All right, we're getting closer now. And again, I'm just going to have my, uh, my eyes peeled for predators. Because again, as we come to POIs, that's where I usually expect to find the threats. We got some logs we can come out here and chop if we want. I don't think we... I want to spend a bunch of time doing it. Um, just because I don't want to get overburdened. Now, we are cold. We need to find warmth. But we have to proceed with caution here, too. Now, I think it mentioned this is a military camp. If it is, we may be able to, uh, you know, either repair this gun, shotgun that we've got, or find something better. There's our first bear. Just popped in out of the sky. We need to steer clear of that guy. Okay. We've got zero, really zero defense at this point. And I think we got some sugar cubes I could throw, but I don't think that's going to work. Okay, is that the other? There's another one there straight ahead, and I think there are two over here. In one of the videos I watched, yeah, there's the second one straight in the middle of the screen there. I think we can kind of make a run for it. And I don't know, that doesn't look like there's much place to hide in the camp. Well, let's run down here. Oh, nope. This may be it. This may be it. So we don't have a way of fighting this guy off right now. I hear him coming. May be in trouble, guys. Okay, let me hit R. Hit tab. Oh, tab. Shotgun. R. Okay. We might be in decent shape here now. Bullets. All I had to do was open it and they gave it to me. Okay, well. I don't think I can shoot through the fence. I don't want to risk losing bullets. I'm trying. Okay, they're both over on that side. All right, let's see. How can we work this out? There's some tuna. Can I reach it? No. Can I hop over these things? Nope. All right, we're just going to proceed with caution. Okay, let's... See if we can get this little guy. not so great huh like I said it's been a while since I've played survival games all right we got one of them let's hop back in here nonchalantly and see if we can reload hopefully we'll be able to warm up 
There's another bear around here. There he is. That little weasel. I think he got me. Yeah. All right. Let's load up. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, auto save. Yeah, sure. I'm guessing that's the most recent one. All right. Well, we knocked one of them out. Now let's see if we have stuff. Yeah, I think we're just we just open to save, so we're back where we were. Let's go ahead and do the tab. Select our shotgun. Reload it if we can. Okay. I think we're gonna be alright. Famous last words, but I do think we're gonna be okay. Alright. Let's grab some stuff out of here and then we'll see if we can get into a better position. And we'll see if they despawn. It's possible they despawn until I get back into some, some place in their range where they spawn in again. Let's uh, take advantage of the time. Here's a pistol. And some matches. I don't think we need another knife. Can't get into that. Let's go inventory. Do we have a knife? We do 67%. Let's go ahead and grab this one and we'll take a look. Inventory. Okay, that one is 67 and this one is 87. Let's... Uh, See if they have a storage container in here for us. Looks like there's two, right? Oh, nope. Can't get into that one. Can't get into that one. Okay, let's uh, keep an eye out for bears. Now, is there going to be a place for us to rest and heat up? Yeah, okay. We'll be able to warm up here. Let's just keep our eyes peeled for bear. I have a feeling they're going to spawn in. I'd like to take them out. And in fact, the fact that we didn't get them is not great because I think we could use their pelts to make uh, to make warmer clothes. Yeah, they may have just despawned for a while. It's kind of a bummer, especially since we got one of them already. All right, let's just comb this place. For everything uh, we'll just go through the right side here if we can if I can get through grab that cloth these things can you search no it doesn't look like it oh, we did that I guess we can check that shotgun and grab that cloth nothing sitting on top of there Again, you guys will probably see things I miss. I'm going to grab the shotgun. We'll just take a look at its quality and take the best one with us, probably. Okay, I was going to try and do this side, but it's a little hard to move around. Okay, we're over encumbered. Let's see if there's a storage container over this way. Keep an eye out for bears. Usually there is. I bet it's this guy, yeah. All right, guns. This one... Oh, I got to... All right. Let's take a look at our inventory. So this gun is 93. And this one is 82. They're both the same. Let's uh let's leave one of the shotguns behind. And then what else we got? We got the two knives. I don't think we need two. Let's leave the lower quality one behind. We could probably eat some corn. We'll do that in a minute. What else? And we probably need to drink something as well. So let's go put these two guys I put down there. Just unload those. I got six logs, 11 things of coal. We don't need to pick up any more coal. How are we doing on warmth? We're getting low. We looking here. We got some cargo pants. Let's remember to put those on. And then we got something to read. Hey, a key, radio station key, but that's where we're going next. Colonel, I've been trying to reach you, but we can't get a signal from our radios here. 
this must be because of the meteor. I was thinking to send one of my soldiers to the radio station to communicate with you, but we have been hearing strange sounds coming from the meteor area, and I decide to inspect it. Now we are going there. If you read this and decide to come after us, make sure everybody wears a gas mask. According to our measurements, there is high radiation level behind the rocks. Major Hassan Oztwerk. Not sure how I pronounced that horribly, but... Anything back behind there? There's our bed. Like I said, we got plenty of coal. Now let's see if I can split the stack. Split. I'm going to actually put some coal into storage here. Then maybe grab these. I don't know if it despawns, if we actually need to do it. Put that in storage. There's some medicine. Let's go ahead. Let's burn wood this time. I guess we could see which one's heavier. Eh, let's just get this going. And then let's uh, get some water cooked up. We have that melt snow. Let's do that. That takes a while. I think we can do two things. I would love to be eating some bear right now. Oh, roasted corn. Okay, there it is. And I think that's it. Yeah. Cook. Yeah, already cooking. All right, good. We'll get some roasted corn in us. Pick up some few more resources. Here's our flashlight. We don't need two of those. Maybe I'll drop it. Uh, flash. Yeah, they're just, uh, let's split. Don't think there's a reason to have two. The, okay, let's hop out of here. Let's go ahead and check our inventory. Make sure we're wearing what we can wear. There he goes here. Wear. All right. Anything else here? We've got. Probably melt some more water while we're here and fully quench up our thirst. I think we're reloaded. I don't see the bears. Yeah, they may have despawned. Now, we may walk past some trigger point that brings them back in. Pop down from the sky. But it looks like we're in the clear. Check this out while our corn is cooking. I don't think there's going to be anything here for us, but we got to be a little careful. Yeah, a little bit of a letdown with those bears, but he is what it is. We got one of them. <laughs> we just didn't get the other. Hatchet. Uh, I guess we grab that, do the same routine here. Nothing else in here, I don't think. Check that bag. Yeah, I already searched. These things we can't get to. All right, let's head back in here. It's not letting me run at the moment. Not sure why. All right. Bowl. All right. Corn roasted. Let's see what that gets us in terms of food. Roasted corn. Eat it. And then let's go melt some more water. Uh, let's cook. Melt snow. Start cooking. Spring time is not enough. Okay, we'll add fuel. Add a log. Cook. Cook. Melt snow. Start cooking. I don't know if I can do two. I only have one pan probably, right? Yeah, I only have one pan, so I guess there is a reason for having two. I could do the coffee thing. Do we have it? Okay, we don't have the coffee pot. We have tea. Go ahead and start cooking that. There's a bag. Did we look at that one? Nope. There's some more bullets for us. That's our storage chest. Uh, did we have something else we wanted to put in here? The hatchet, right? We don't know which one's which. Let's uh, inventory to see the quality. 94 or 85. So we'll put the bottom one in. Just to save weight. We got a decent number of shells, so that's that's a good thing. 
Any little lumps of coal laying on the ground? Okay, we gotta wait for that tea. Let's uh let's look at the tab menu real quick. Okay, let's grab the pistol and reload that. Might be able to get a bunny with that thing. Or if we're desperate, one of the other animals. Let's try the binoculars. Uh okay, I'm scrolling. They're alright, I guess. How do I get out? I got a tab out of them. Yeah, I think that's all we've got. Let's uh let's see tab. Tab shotgun. All right, looks like our water is done. Let's grab, grab it. Let's do another one if we can. Cook. Melt snow. Boom. The tea, is the tea ready? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, we're overburdened already. Let's see. Inventory, where is our tea? Let's see. Yeah, we really need the hydration. Back to inventory. We'll drink this tea. Drink it. All right. Let me uh, pause the game here, and then we will end this episode right here, and we'll pick up in the next episode right where we left off. we got to kind of finish hydrating, and then we'll have to make a decision if we want to try and find the next point of interest or rest up here. We do have a bed here, and then I wanted to look at the crafting as well to see if we can craft any clothes or anything while we're here. It seems like we're in a pretty safe area. And then we also need to unburden ourselves and decide what to get rid of. Maybe eating some food will lighten us up a little bit or maybe unloading a log or two. <laughs> that sounded kind of funny. Maybe, let yeah, getting a couple of logs out of our inventory will lighten our inventory weight and we won't have this overburdened symbol here in the top left. Anyway, that's it for now. If you like this content please do consider giving it a thumbs up that helps my tiny channel grow and i definitely appreciate it but again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next episode